Hello and welcome everyone. Today our topic of discussion is Benz Jones protein. Benz Jones protein refers to urinary protein. It represents a homogeneous population of kappa or lambda type light chains. The presence of this immunoglobulin light chain proteins in the urine is linked to several systemic diseases. Dr. Henry Benz Jones tested the patient's urine and found a substance precipitated by adding nitric acid in 1845. The term Benz Jones protein was first used in 1880 by Dr. Flesher. Its peculiar characteristic on heating first characterized Benz Jones protein is precipitation of the urine at 40 to 60 degrees centigrade and redissolving of the precipitate at 100 degrees centigrade. What is Benz Jones protein? When B lymphocyte is activated by antigen, plasma cell is formed and plasma cell secrete immunoglobulin that contains light chain. When monoclonal secretion of light chains occur, either kappa or lambda, then it is secreted into the urine and this protein in the urine is called Benz Jones protein. Indications Benz Jones proteins are a marker used to diagnose and monitor certain diseases such as multiple myeloma. It is used in combination of other tests like serum electrophoresis and serum free light chain assays to detect plasma cell dyscrasia. Almost 60% of the patient with classical myeloma have Benz Jones protein in their urine. The symptom of underlying systemic disease may include the following weakness, lethargy or fatigue, weight loss, anorexia, bone pain, symptoms of peripheral neuropathy such as numbness and burning pain, symptoms of compression fracture, recurrent infections. Let's see what are the sample required to test Benz Jones protein. First is clean catch early morning urine sample. It is required for qualitative test. And second is a 24 hour urine collection is required for quantitative test. If you want to measure the exact amount of free light chains in the urine. Methods. Manual methods are heating and hydrochloric acid, modified acid method. And automated method are urine electrophoresis, either capillary and immunofixation. Urine electrophoresis findings should be correlated with serum immunoglobulin concentration, serum free light chain assays and serum electrophoresis results. Let's learn the heat method. In this method, the urine is acidified by adding 1 ml of acetate buffer to 4 ml of filter urine to reach pH 5.0. Then this test tube is added to water bath for 15 minutes at a 56 degree centigrade. At this temperature, the precipitate occurs due to the protein. This test tube is then added to 100 degree centigrade water bath for 3 minutes. Here the precipitate dissolves and if after heating the mixture for 3 minutes at 100 degree centigrade the clearing of precipitate occurs then we can say that Benz Jones protein is present. Then the boiling mixture can then be filtered and should become cloudy as it cools. Then we remove this sample from the water bath and after cooling the precipitate reforms, then it confirms the Benz Jones protein presence. The next is modified acid method. In this method, we take concentrated HCl in the test tube and we add urine drop by drop on the upper layer of HCl by dropper. If you see a ring precipitate formation at the top layer of the acid, then we can say that Benz Jones protein is present. 
Next is urine electrophoresis. Urine capillary electrophoresis is useful for primary diagnosis of various protein urea including Baines-Jones protein in the urine. It shows M band in electrophoresis. After that immunofixation electrophoresis follows with anti-seria 2 IgG, IgA, IgM, total kappa and total lambda. This confirm the exit immunoglobulin and the free light chain in the Baines-Jones protein. These are the references for this video. Hope you like it. Thank you.